So what that is, it might be a half time. I don't think that's what that is. Oh yeah, it's a seated. Hi guys, something big around in this hole. See what it is. Oh, no doubt. It's a cut real. <laughs> oh man, that's awesome. I can't believe it. Oh, it's the third piece out here today. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna keep going. Main lab e track XP Deus. Both excellent detectors, both around the same price. So I'm thinking, you're thinking that I'm thinking which one is best. To be honest, I don't know. These are both awesome detectors at the top of the game, roughly the same price. Performance is very similar. Handling's a little bit better with the Deus, but the sounds are better on the E-Track. So similar, you really can't split them. So, which one am I going to use? Deus, E-Track. What about both at the same time? And if that sounds stupid, maybe it is. If you watch, you'll find out. I'm gonna try an experiment now. I'm gonna hold both detectors way out from each other try and use both of them together. Hopefully they won't conflict or chatter to each other and it might give me twice as much chance of finding something. They don't really interfere with each other and I think I'm going to do the rest of my hunting like that with the two detectors. So I suppose that answers the question, E-Track, Deus or both, you can use both together and hopefully I'm going to find something in the next part of this field whilst using them both together. I'll tell you what it is, Dueling detectors definitely works. If I've got time today, I'm gonna to go back up to the mansion site. I'm gonna use two detectors and I'm gonna see just how much I can pull up in a short space of time. It absolutely works. So let's get digging. This is a crap signal, I think it's just a ring pull, but you never know. 365-ish on the Deus and 14.15 on the E-Track. That's kind of classic ring pull territory, but you never know, it might be a gold ring. Here's hoping. <laughs> it's gold coloured, that's a good start. I thought it was actually a gold bracelet or something for just one brief second there. Look at that. But it's got no weight to it whatsoever. And it's made of absolute crap. But it fooled me for a second. Now I know that there's some good stuff on this site. So I'm going dueling detectors, I'm going to try and find it. I'm going to try and cover twice the ground in half the time. I've cut the interference down to a minimum, but the deers are still chattering quite a lot. The e-track's quite quiet. I'm trying to keep them as far away as possible. Just a rotational movement like this. Go over with the e-track, go over with the deers. Easy to check signals. Because the Deus audio isn't quite as good as the E-Track, 
I've got one headphone on for the DOS just to boost that signal a little bit and it seems to be working pretty well. I found a few things but nothing spectacular. Here we go, I'll commit the cardinal sin of having a live dig. It's not a very good signal, but it could be something good very deep. Bottle top. Nice little find here. It's a threepenny bit from 1960, Elizabeth II. A modern penny. This one was picked up by the Deus. It's quite a jumpy signal and it was only ooh, five six inches down maybe. Kind of hoping it's a small silver but it may just be a modern penny. Oh it's tiny. Oh man. It's not even a modern penny. It's a modern half penny. Modern 50 pence. Ah, trash is throwing some of these signals off a little bit. Difficult to pinpoint them. Hence, I've hit this one with a spade. This is a George the Sixth Hapney. Oh, only done a little bit of damage. 1941. Well, aside from looking like a total remedial plane helicopters, this is working. This is a very strong signal reading 12.35 on the E-Track and reading 79 on the Deus. And I don't believe it. That's... <laughs> I'm always suspicious when I see people finding things on the top. But that's actually a find that I made about six hunts ago. And somebody asked me what happened to it, and I said, I don't know, I think it might have ended up in the bag of shame. Well, I must have dropped it whilst I was putting it in the finds pouch, because that's the little gun that I found up here ages ago. Nice strong signal this one, reading 1217 on the E-Track, and I think it was 56 on the Deus. More than 50 pence. Awesome. Swinging it round like a loony, but picking up two signals, one with each detector. This one, what's this one? This one's reading 829, where little small silver sometimes hits. That's a good signal. Coming out as a strong 79 on the Deus. This one's reading 1414 on the E-Track. 65 on the Deus. I think that one's a ring pull, so I'll dig that one first. I'd like to think that was something good, this one. That one's a modern 10 pence. And this one's the end of a can. I should have dug them the other way around. Here's one for the E-Track, 1329, which may or may not be a good signal. I'd like to think it was, but you do get some pretty big ring pulls, and I've had about 50 ring pulls so far, so I'm not getting too excited. Lead. One for the Deus. 
reading late 60s to early 70s. And it's a ring pole. There's a few mixed signals here. E tracks grab two here. This one's 1616. This one is 1239. I'm going to dig that one first because I think that one's the ring pull. And then I'm going to dig this one and hopefully this one's a coin. <laughs> Modern 10 pence. Hopefully I'm not going to repeat what happened before, where I got the coin and then trash. Thought that might be on the top of that one, it's given such a good signal, but it isn't. Looks like a huge cluster of rust. It is just a cluster of rust, but that's actually a modern penny. That's the state some of them get into after a few years in the ground. They're made of absolute rubbish. That's a very loud one. Got something there, probably just a modern coin. It's reading 1243 on the E track and 82 on the Dios. I think that's normally where pound coins hit. Get in there, it is a pound coin. I've identified a nation of targets around here using both detectors. I've marked them with my heel. Now I'm going to dig them up. I'm going to do them all live. Most of the signals were ring pull signals. Some of them were up into the 70s, but not many. I think they're probably all just rubbish. Ring pull. Ring pull. Rusty nail, but there might be more. Twenty pence. Ring pull. My God, it's hot. Hot, hot, hot. Coin ball. Modern penny. Ring pull. Ring pull. Of 
coin ball. This one was reading mid 60s. Ah, it's a one shilling piece from 1953. You can see just from that speeded up bit of film that there's a lot of targets in this field. Most of them are absolute rubbish. And I identified them with the two detectors, marked them with my heel and then dug, I don't know, seven or eight of them all in one go. Really speeds the job up nicely. This really is taking detecting to the next level, I think. This is working perfectly. I'm going over a signal. If it's just, say, catching it with the E-Track, I'll confirm it with the Deus. If the Deus is making a noise where I think it oh, might be a signal, I go over it and confirm it with the E-Track. It's working really well. Most of the signals I've got there, again, I think are ring pulls, but I'm going to dig them all and see what they are. I'll video them and I'll show you the ones that aren't ring pulls. Well, out of all those holes, I managed to find loads of ring pulls at 20 pence, which I shall put in my pocket for spending later. And three coin balls, which are all suspiciously small, so they're either probably half pennies or pennies. Yeah, half penny. Oh, get it in there, look at that. Get in. I was beginning to wonder where the silver was, and it's back. 1936, sixpence, George V. Now isn't that so much better than that? And the last one, I reckon a penny, just to complete the, the trio there. God, there's no in it. Hey, up there we go. Half penny, penny, and silver sixpence. Half pence. Ring pull. Twenty pence. Ring pull. Bottle top. Two pence. Oh, can't see any more marks that I've left. There may be more. So I think what I'm gonna do next time is go out dueling detectors again, but I'll have little flags about this high in my pocket. I lift them out and I can put them down wherever there's a find. It's gonna make it a hell of a lot easier. And I can just spend half an hour going round, finding everything in the ground, putting a stake there with a little flag on, and then do all the digging in one go because that saves a hell of a lot of time. Ah, I'm getting so many more digs than I normally do and I've bashed this area because I'm using two detectors. You've kind of got to listen to two different things at once which is uh, probably difficult.
but I seem to be managing okay and I found a little bit of silver so I'm absolutely loving it. Next time I'm coming up with a pocket full of little flags to put in the ground so watch out for that one. Whoa. Thanks for watching. Get in! Now then Kingsley, do you have anything to say? You tell him, son. Anything more to say? What was that? Didn't quite catch it. Okay. Aye. Good point. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Any, oh, yeah. Anything more? You tell them, son. One last word. Yeah. There's bugger all here. Yeah. Hello, little rabbit. <laughs> Don't worry, son. I'll be gone in a minute. Well, I mean, that little one there, you could stick down your trousers, couldn't you? <laughs> you could, yeah. <laughs> oh, get in there, look at that.